Howdy folks, it's Tall here and welcome back to Turnia SMP, the best place on the planet to play Minecraft 1.18.1. And today we're going to have a really quick video. I just want to show you what I'm doing in my city before I build too much. But first of all, those of you on the server who are wondering where is the Lindblom and Cathedral tour videos? Well, they haven't happened yet. <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of got ahead in the future. So I know about the new city to tour. Or the towers to tour at Limblum. And I know about the cathedral tour coming up. But as I record this, they just haven't happened. Now, as you watch this, they happened a long time ago. So look for those videos soon. They just haven't happened yet. Because I know some of you are wondering, where in the world are Turtles tour videos? Why is he making all these other videos instead of the tour videos? Because they haven't happened yet. That's all. So let's get going over to my city so I can show you quickly. Hopefully before the sun goes down, maybe we have some time. I can show you what my plans are for the city before I get too far along. I wasn't going to do anything in terms of recording yet until I had some city stuff done. But I'm like, you know what? I want you all to be part of the process. So you're coming along for the beginning of the process anyway. And then eventually there will be update videos of everything else. Alright, so we're going to come through here and we're going to have a snack. And I'll show you what's going to happen here. Alright, so quickly, again, this is going to be a quick video. I say that every time, but it really will be a quick video. So, first of all, I'm adding to the sidewalk here. And the way this is going to work is this first smooth stone row. This is going to be where the um, decorations are. So, lamp posts will be here. Benches will be here. Bus stops will be here. Flower pots will be here. Waste bins will be here. That's where this is going to be, all on this row. This will be the walking sidewalk. Now I know it looks narrow, but you got to remember it's supposed to be urban and it's supposed to give the sensation or perception of, or deception, <laughs> of being urban, dense, tight, squeeze, that type of thing. And there will be room to pass people where there isn't a bench or isn't a lamp. So this will be plenty wide. You just have to trust me. Okie dokie. So the biggest thing I'm worried about is scale. Because if I built my buildings to scale, we would probably only fit two, maybe three buildings in this entire plains biome. But I want this to look like a cityscape. So I'm going to use some tricks and deception and illusion that I've come up with myself to do this. Now, I'm not saying no one else builds this way of the millions and millions and millions of people who play Minecraft. I'm just saying I came up with this without tutorials, without anything, just using life knowledge of how things work. So first of all, we are going to have part of the deception of density is we're going to have narrow alleys between buildings. So there's going to be a building here too. And then we're going to have an alley in the back which will not be path. I just did this for planning. This will be changed out to something else. And then if buildings don't come up right up to the alley, then there'll be other structures. Like maybe this will be like the big um, collection for waste, or this will be a mechanical room or something. But the stuff, the structures, the decorations and ornaments and amenities will come up to the alley. That will not be path block. And that alley is going to go all the way around. And then same with... Um, the narrow alleys between buildings, not path block. I just did that from landing. All right. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to build like half buildings and facades. So for example, this first building is going to be um, an apartment or residential. I don't want to say apartment. I don't want to say condo. This would be a residential tower. Okay. So this would only be the center, right? But the way this is going to work is this is actually going to be just the left half of the building. Okay, and then right up against it is going to be an office tower that will be either half a building or a narrow building to give the idea that it's a big building. This will have the idea that it's a full building because this side will be full over here. This will be a full side and it's going to overlook a dog park or some kind of park, probably a dog park because it's residential with maybe like a little walkway over and down to it or something, but this will be a park for sure. Okay, so this will give the perception of a full building. So when you're in game, you're watching my videos, I give you a tour, it's going to look like a full residential tower, but it's actually only going to be half a tower. Okay, not a quarter tower, because then we'd split this too. It's going to be half a tower. And then we'll have an office building here. 
which again will either be half a building or just a narrow building, but long, so it looks like a full building. And then next to that, we're going to have commercial, like shops and things. And then next to that, we're going to have our hotel, which might even be all shaped. And the hotel will be pretty much a full building because hotels have weird shapes anyway, right? Because you don't want hotel rooms where you don't get a view. So this could be a weird shape anyway. And um, so the hotel will probably be a full building, L shape, and that's also where the observatory tower will be. So there'll be a tower on top of the hotel for observatory. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. Um, why does it look like it's getting dark already? Day's not even half over. Weird. I got to put my clouds back too, don't I? <laughs> anyway, so that's how that's going to work. And then we'll have some narrow skinny towers here, like maybe a restaurant tower and just more residential type thing, but not as tall as these. This will be the primary thing. So the first optical illusion, so to speak, will be facades and half buildings or partial buildings. Alrighty, so it's going to look great, I promise. As far as this residential building goes, um, you know, we're going to have our stairway here and then landings. Of course, there's not going to be a hole there, but there'll be stairway and landings here. And then there'll be one step down to the back, which we'll talk about terraforming in a second. And then there'll be landings for each floor. There'll be probably two residences per floor and then one per floor as we get up higher and then a penthouse, most likely. That's really cool, all the shading changes. Huh. Anyway, so that's how that's going to work. So stairs up, landing, stair up, landing, stair will come back, landing. I have it all planned out in my head. I'll show you how that'll work when it's done. I'm not going to record the build process for that because it's going to be slow and you know, 45 minutes will get us a couple stairs. So that's how that's going to work. Um, pretty much every building will have a lower level. I think this is going to be down one too low. I think I'm going to fix that. But anyway, um, if you go to Brooklyn, for example, every building has lower level apartments, lower level offices, lower level restaurants. For example, where my wife's friends live when they did live in New York, the ones who were like on SNL and stuff, they lived in Brooklyn and they lived in a building like this, but then down below was a super popular restaurant. So on their street, it was all residences, but every building had a lower level restaurant, every single one. And then other ones have lower level apartments, that type of thing. So that's what this is gonna be, every building, pretty much every building will have a lower level something, like Brooklyn, so to speak, will give that city flavor. Um, so that's how that's going to work. The L system will go through every building, except it's going to be disguised. So there's not going to be a train going through someone's apartment, but you'll hear it again, just like in the city, even in Chicago, you know, you have apartments six feet from the L, you know, right up against it. So that'll be something that's going to happen. The commercial building will have the big train station on that floor, whatever floor that ends up being second floor, probably. That'll be the big, big train station, which might span two buildings. It might actually span into the hotel, too, through Skybridge or something. So that's how that's going to work. Lastly, and quickly here, um, the terraforming. So, like, down here, that's going to stay like that, okay? This up here is going to stay like this. So how are we going to get down there? Well, through tricks. So, for example, this building is going to end up going downhill without realizing it. So this lower level unit will actually probably be able to see some water. I might keep that. Haven't decided. Okay. And then we'll figure it all out and fill it all in. And then here we'll probably go into the office building with the railings so you don't fall in and then so on and so on with the alleyway still open so you can see. And then the building will just work its way down. And then in here, you know, we're going to have the stairs going up, 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 up. But then we'll have one come over so you can come out the back door that type of thing, right? So you won't even realize it's happening. So for all these buildings, they'll have to drop down one or two, but you won't even realize it. And from the back, you won't notice either. And um, that's very commonplace, right? Even houses will do that, where you go in the front door at level, grade level, and then all of a sudden, you walk out and you're on a patio on the second story, even though you walked in at grade. And um, very common, but that's how this is gonna work. So again, some trickery, you won't even notice that that is lower than this. You won't even notice it, I promise. Um, as far as this going back up again, I could have made all this the same grade or I could have brought all this down. I kind of wish I would have brought all this down and I might. I might bring this down because then it drops twice, see? Boom, boom, again over there. So I might bring this down, I might keep it. Depends how the hotel works out. Um, we'll just have to see. And then that sidewalk thing, the double sidewalk, will come all the way through both sides. 
Um, also, when I was in college, I went to Duluth, Minnesota, and everything was on a steep hill, right? So you would enter, and then you'd be at grade, and then you'd, you know, go down a flight of stairs sometimes, go down some ramps, not even notice, and then all of a sudden, by the time we got to the other side of the college of all connected buildings, at which was the fine arts next to the sports department, which is hilarious, fine arts people next to sports people, that was weird, um, you would be like seven or eight stories, even more, lower than when you started, and you didn't even realize it. It was awesome. So this is going to be a totally miniature version of that, where you go down, you don't even notice. Okie dokie. So that's the facade and like half building idea trick. That is the terraform trick, and that is the city layout plan. Um, so what's going to happen on this side? Well, this is going to be um, more complicated to build, but simpler to understand and describe. So this will be a park, like I said. This will be blocked off because this will be the park where you can go to the, up there to Winter Park. This will be more residences. So starting here will be like row houses. If you think of like the full house intro to the show, The Full House, all those houses are touching all in a row, San Francisco. That's how this will start with maybe like a street or alley every five, six houses. Two-story houses crammed together. Or I may have some of them like in Australia where you have very narrow, very, very long houses separated by like, which in this case be like one block to get between them, that type of thing. Um, that's what's going to be on this side. And then near this end will be like condos or maybe actually over here now that I think about it, or maybe both sides actually matching. Like condos in a U or O shape where you're going to have a courtyard in the middle because in Minneapolis we actually have those next to some really tall skyscrapers. You have two-story condos in a U-shape with a courtyard with a skyscraper on one side. So for example, the west side will be a skyscraper. Then connected to it is a U-shape of two-story condos with a courtyard in the middle. We will do something like that either there, connect to a skyscraper, and probably mirrored over there without a skyscraper. So row houses, I guess row houses really isn't an appropriate term anymore, is it? I apologize if that offends anybody. But houses in a row and then um, condos with a courtyard on both sides. And then, down one of the streets, we'll go to normal houses, just regular old houses that are kind of small. And then somewhere over here, because what you can't see is more planes. This will be like the, ma the mansion, like the famous celebrity rich person who lives in this city has their mansion over there. So, and this will be like communities. So, this will take me a couple years to do, I'm sure, like real life years. But I just want to give you a really quick video with my layout plans because a lot of this building we do off camera. Like when I plan the size of these units, if I'm going to make them one bedroom, two bedroom studio, um, the stairway, how I'm going to have the floor also be the ceiling without the, I don't want the same colors everywhere. So I don't want you to look around and it's like oak everywhere. All that stuff, that's going to take some time. I'm going to do it off camera. Um, maybe a live stream here or there, which is less and less likely now that it's going to be summer in like a couple weeks for my kids and my wife she's taking the summer off too so that's going to give me less time so this building is mostly going to be off camera i might jump in and say hey we're doing the final touches of this or that but when we do come out here to build or to have videos expect things to be like totally different like built up and done not done but like half done that type of thing and then we'll do regular videos elsewhere so anyway that is going to be it for me today Hopefully you enjoyed the short video. Um, just wanted to give you a little overview because when I start building and get carried away, I'm going to forget to tell you those things. So I just wanted you to have an idea of what it's going to look like here in the city, which needs a name, doesn't it? Other than city. Hmm, I better think of one. My base is called Kodaberg, plain and ordinary, but we need a borough name. You know, like New York is the city, but it has all the boroughs that kind of our cities, but they're not. They're boroughs. Cincinnati is Cincinnati, but it has a bunch of boroughs. So, Kodelberg is our base, but we need a name for the borough. I'll have to think of something someday. I got plenty of time, and hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, so you know when the next video comes out, and I'll see you then.